want a spinoff of both of your characters for Thank you. Can you please? I'm getting Ted on the line, okay? Because there are some things that I still need to unpack. Unresolved questions. Okay? Yeah. Like, I just can't. Are we going to manifest that right now? We're putting it into the universe. We're going to have a spinoff show because we got more things that we have to say. <laughs> it's being worked on as we speak. Yeah. See, we could have manifested something. Jai but built I'm, a pitch deck. We're all ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pitch deck, too. Oh, see, y'all about it. What? <laughs> You know, Ja, I want to start with you because I do want to know, like, do you feel like there's something that maybe we haven't seen on why your character wants to self-sabotage his relationship? <laughs> like, let's have practice. Let's get into it. Um, I think it all comes down to uh, self-worth, you know, and uh, his issues with that. I think Bob is someone who feels like um, he doesn't necessarily deserve the good things in life, but he's kind of like always on a quest to get a, a leg up and get like a foot forward, but he can't help but keep himself in these cycles, um, you know, to pull himself back down. And I've got a real, I mean, if you really want to rip into it, there's a, there's a whole lot of juicy stuff that I sort of did in my preparation for him um, and some abandonment issues with his mother and all that good stuff. But yeah, it was, uh, you know, I think that's all in there and, and, and it was fun to play with. It's good to go to that side with someone and to, I don't know, look at how we create those patterns for ourselves, even if they go against our better judgment or they're the cycles that we really know we want to break. It's, it's human nature to, um, to sit in those comfortable places. I think Judy is probably far too good for him. That's not necessarily debatable. Um, but she's got her own issues, uh, and wow. you know that. It, and so there's a codependency there. Um, and yes, whilst their relationship might be somewhat dysfunctional, um, who knows? There might be a future for them yet in the past. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. But since you brought up self worth, though, do you feel like that's something that Judy struggles with? Do you feel like do I you think feel like he? Okay, Judy, let me know. Perfect person with absolutely nothing to answer for I don't know what you're talking about um no definitely I mean like I think similarly um there was a lot of backstory building for her because there was when you know when you first are confronted with a character and they make decisions that you necess wouldn't necessarily make yourself there's the journey that you go on to bring yourself closer or to understand her or to love her and I think there was a lot of um there were little hints that very helpfully the writers and Eric, our showrunner, had dropped into the script about her father um, and how she had grown up and how isolated she had been. And I think that um, similarly to Bob, actually, a lot of Judy's choices come from her not thinking she deserves better or deserves as much as she would like to give. Um, and to an extent, I think that they, it was kind of inevitable that they would be together for the stretch of time that they were. I think they feed into each other's needs um, sometimes in a healthy way and sometimes in a very unhealthy one. I really love this like spin off even more now after discussing this. It's happening. I'm, think, I'm putting it out there. But I mean, one of the things that I, I do love about this show is that it really shows the importance of second chances, whether that is at a second chance to change or a second chance at revenge or reinventing your life. And I wanted to know for the both of you, like, what is the second chance that you've gotten that kind of changed your world for the better? You can speak personally. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rose? Jai? Oh, second chance. I've been on a journey. I'm not going to rip into it too hard, but I've, I've had an interesting couple of years and, uh, and, and seeing the benefits from some second chances at the moment that I'm really grateful for. I can say that much. Um, and definitely for the betterment of my character and life. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's been it's been an interesting time of self reflection. I I think I definitely agree with that. I think um, I can th actually I, I think it's a constant thing with me or like a constant process. Um, I'm very grateful for the second ch chances that I've had, and I think just the opportunities to keep developing as a person and um, to know that this is not the last version of mm. yourself that you still have room to grow and explore and, and um, being lucky enough to have 
people around who will give you that chance and believe in you is great. Look, I believe in the both of you because I'm ready for this spin -off. We believe in each other. We believe in okay. each other so hard. <laughs> you in self-reflection. Look, I just want to thank you both for being so great and chatting with me today. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And I'm just sending love and light both your ways. I'm going to chat with you soon when we, we talk about this spinoff, this prequel. Hell yeah. Peace. Thank you. Take care. Thank Mwah. you. Ciao. Wait, how both of you doing today? Wonderful. How are you doing? I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm sad because... I was watching the episodes and I was trying to ration them out because I didn't want to binge it all in one day because it was so good. And when I got to the last episode, I kept hitting next, next, and I realized it was over. And I needed oh. another season. Oh, Sharonda, I feel for you. You wanted more. I do. I need another I love season. it. Y'all got to get back to work. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I, On our way. <laughs> right. But I mean, but isn't that the fun of the show, too? That it's like, I like that the show doesn't have a definitive ending that it still leaves you to the imagination of like, okay, well, where do these characters go? What happens to them after this? What happens to them next? Hopefully, do they learn lessons? Are they gonna take some of the information they gathered here to the, to the next phase in life? Um, so yeah, I think that that's, that's, that's that, yeah. We, we, I remember we used to posture with Eric all the time. It's like, what if we did another season? How would we like, like but no, but it, it, it rests in such a place of mystery that I think is fun to sit with talked about on the set is we as actors really really became a family and everyone had their own niche and the wonderful thing about this show is that you get you get a chance to be on a journey which each of these characters mm -hmm. a complete journey you mm -hmm. see what their wants and needs are you see what their fears are you see where they want to be in life and mm -hmm. so we 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 fantasized a little bit sitting around in between scenes going oh what would happen what could it be and so you never know um if you like this show as an audience and i know you do uh, you could stump for it. You never know what happens. Mm -hmm. Don't play with me. I'll get a petition started today now. Come on now. <laughs> okay? Get it. <laughs> well, one of the things that I really do enjoy about this season is how these characters, you see these kind of second chances that they're given. You know, the second chance at revenge or a second chance at redemption or love. And I wanted to know for the both of you, like, is there a second chance that you were given, either personally or professionally, that kind of changed your life for the better? Mm. Oh, I can mm -hmm. jump right in and, and speak to it uh, clearly and succinctly. Uh, you know, I was a, a, a young child on Broadway and did 13 Broadway musicals. Not many people know that about me now. Uh, but that gave me a sense of movement, a sense of musicality in my acting work, a sense of largesse in what I do, which allowed me to uh, exercise a craft to bring it all back to doing nothing, which is what I believe we do for film and in television. Um, I then had a family and I, I then uh, had a family that I couldn't quite make ends meet where I was at. And, you know, I was told by a casting director early on in my first incarnation that I needed to learn how to act. And that casting director, Shirley Rich, changed my life. And, I, and she said, let me qualify it. You need to learn how to act for film. Your acting is, is really too big, and, and that's bad acting. Well, so I learned how to do my worst school of acting so I could get it out of my system, so I could do nothing and have people believe in me. Mm. It, 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 it relates to everyone's lives and the confidence that we have when we walk down the street. You have to do nothing to be organically true and original, mm. nothing at all, because that's who you are. Mm. So I got a second chance by, by getting into film and allowing um, myself to be attentive. What you do with sacrifice, dedication, um, changes your life and commitment changes your life. And then I had a family and I went bankrupt twice. That taught me to be a warrior, to be courageous, to not take no for an answer, to find another way out of no way to have my life work. Became a director, mm -hmm. continued to do my passion and what I love to do. So um, I've had several second chances that I haven't squandered. Uh, and, I, and when you have that opportunity, choose something you're passionate and you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And yeah, like I can, I can second that fully. Like my, I think the, the, one of the biggest second chances that came for me in life was when I, I dropped out of school. Um, I dropped out of college. I was going to Spelman in Atlanta. Um, I was there for two years and I had gotten super depressed and developed like some pretty severe anxiety. 
And I left school without a plan of what necessarily I was gonna do, but I knew that I didn't wanna go home. I knew that I, I, I wanted to go to LA, I wanted to try it. My mom was like, no, come home, get yourself re recuperated, whatever. And I was like, no, that's just gonna make me more depressed because I'll feel like I'm going backwards. So I, yeah, took the, the leap of faith on myself and decided to go to LA and you know my, my career started. So that was, I think, my first second chance by me taking a, a, a chance on myself. Um, and though though I was in the lowest state that I'd ever really been in in my life at that point, like I was like, I have to give myself something. So that was definitely my first second chance. And then with my when, once my career started and, and things started to pick up a little bit, I got into a rut. I got into this really b bad relationship, um, uh, this very abusive relationship um, and that I could not get out of. And um, I feel, I always say that the universe gave me a second chance in that way and took this person out um, so that I could refine my value. And I, that was a huge lesson for me in finding my value and my worth, not only in my work, but in the world and knowing what I deserve. Um, and that has only informed my work and informed the way that I moved through my career. God, I'm so happy for these second chances because the way that both of you bless me, whatever you are on my screen, I'm here for it. I just appreciate like the words of wisdom and just sharing your journey because it's really a blessing to hear that, like that people can have a second chance. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. And I'm just sending nothing but love and light both your ways. I'm so excited I got to speak to the both of you today. Oh my, my gosh, gosh, you warmed you're my heart. heart. Right, I was like, you're so wonderful. Thank you. So Thank you. And I'm still gonna claim a season two, y'all, because I'm just gonna make sure it happens. Keep hitting that button, right. girl. It's coming back. Right. Hey, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> love you so Bye. much. Thank you.